Hello and welcome back to another guide for Lamplighter's Leak. My name is Saiken and today we're taking a look at Anna Sophie, the class guide um, of the healer of the crew. As always, I will go uh, very succinct through her main abilities that you should watch out for, then go through her equipment and the undrawn hand, and we're going to take a look at some gameplay mechanics. So let's jump right into it. Anna Sophie is a support and she really excels at it. Her passive ability allows her to heal 50% more with healing abilities and consumables. That is okay, but nothing to write home about. What is something to write home about is the restore ability, her signature ability, which heals everyone in an AoE radius, begins with uh, three AoE radius, uh, six AoE radius, sorry, and then later goes up to eight AoE radius. On top of it, uh, from restore two onwards, it does not only heal everyone, but it also restores signature ability charges for the others, which is phenomenal. On top of that, if you have freed up Mother Amina and have the therapeutic uh, tradition, she also heals herself for 30 uh, hit points. Well, that in itself is already great, but it is becoming even better when you look at the abilities that she brings to the table when she heals others. And there are plenty uh, for that. Most noticeably, I want to highlight Caregiver, which you find over here. Passive ability, Anna Sophie gains one AP whenever she uses an ability or consumable to heal. So if she heals with her signature ability, she will regain two AP from just healing the others. Unfortunately, the self heal um, does not trigger Caregiver. I think that's a bit of an oversight. But if you're using AOE healing um, elixirs later, she can gain up to three AP just for healing, which is incredibly good. It basically doesn't only make healing free, but on top of it, if you heal multiple targets, which you can, you can actually generate excess AP. So let's take a look at her other great um, abilities. Her by far best ability is Motivate and Motivate 2, essentially giving up an AP herself and then creating AP for others. Motivate 1 uh, gives you 1 AP for one other target. Motivate 2 gives you 2 AP, one for each other target. So that is net plus 1 AP. And that in itself is simply limited by the fact that Motivate has a five round cooldown. Now. You will ask, wait a second, Saiken, uh, wouldn't it be great if she does have uh, cooldown reduction abilities? Well, that would be great, and she has plenty of them. So her passive ability commitment, and then commitment two and commitment three, allows her attacks to gain a 50% chance to reduce her ability cooldowns by one. Her basis attack is two attacks per shot with her um, uh, with her assault rifle. So that is on average one cooldown uh, reduction that you can uh, guarantee. On top of that, uh, upon killing an enemy, her cooldowns are reduced by one always. And on top of that, there are other ways of reducing her uh, cooldowns. So realistically, when you're shooting with her and killing a target, I've uh, later in the game uh, gotten three sometimes four um, cooldown reductions in just one action point and that means she can use motivate yet again so not seldomly in the late game if you are using a healing consumable and use that in a clever way so that you gain three ap you can actually um, spend one ap to uh, motivate two others then reduce your cooldowns and then motivate them right again of uh, the uh, get-go so that is an ultra strong combination uh, half of her kit is cooldown reduction and the center of her kit is motivate and if you are using the healing ability as a ap generation ability then you are truly blessed because all of a sudden she uh, can break the action economy quite single-handedly. But that's not all. There is another great ability called Atonement where um, Sophia has a 25% chance to shred 5 armor. Keep in mind it's 2 hits so 50% chance really. Very similar to Eddie's 50% chance built-in armor shredding capability. Great character all around. These are the core abilities that you should watch out for. Now let's take a look at her equipment. In terms of equipment, what I like to run with her is the standard ability optimizer build. 
There are other ways uh, of how you can uh, work with her. Uh, there are ways of giving her additional AP by a healing idol, but the ability optimizer itself is a really uh, true and tested way of reducing ability uh, cooldowns even further. So if you're ever in the predicament of really needing that one um, cooldown reduction, then this um, belt will do just Not that. You can get it from Danny Belfort relatively early right there. So that's how I would uh, run her. There are other ways of running her later. Uh, she really excels at having a lot of hit points. Um, so being tanky by herself to not be knocked over, she needs to be the steady front, um, backliner. And therefore I gave her Vitality Gear, the third version of it, 90 um, hit points and a lot of uh, max stress. So she comes in at 250 health. Um, I run her with an electromagnetical optimizer simply because it is so much jammed into just one um, little weapon modification. But for a long period of time, I actually ran her with uh, an accuracy talisman. The later versions of the accuracy talisman give 25% hit chance. She needs to hit in order to proc her cooldown reduction. So the whole logic behind it is make sure that she can hit. If you do have a knockdowner in your team, uh, knock the target down, use the 100% hit chance, let Anna Sophie kind of um, burst onto that uh, target and reduce her cooldowns and you will be blessed. In terms of the undrawn hand, one of the things that I like about her is being a buff character. Um, I got her the Herald and the Herald is potentially so uh, synergetic with her is uh, she inspires everyone else. She regains that um, AP. It is a low cooldown. She can reduce the cooldown uh, to zero in no time. And on top of that, it dispels debuffs. That means knockdown will be dispelled, poison will be dispelled, fire will be dispelled, you name it. All of that can be dispelled. So generally, she doesn't need her dispel ability. I will highlight it though, um, jumping really quickly back. The blast ability um, will dispel as well, but also reduce the cooldowns of teammates. And that can be good in combinations with, for instance, Celestine or other cooldown dependent champions, where all of a sudden you can give them their cooldowns back. So back to the drawn, undrawn hand, uh, the Herald really strong ability. If you combine it with a conjunction, it becomes borderline abusive because conjunction five has a 75% chance to regain an ability, an action point, and then a 25% chance uh, to gain an AP for the teammates um, whenever you're using a buff ability. And uh, the uh, inspired buff ability will hit them wherever they are on the map, even if you're blinded, even if you can't see them, even if they are far away. So that combined will give you a great chance of restoring an AP immediately and a 25% chance of giving them an AP on top um, of that. And then I run uh, the Sage with her. Higher crit chance means uh, with crits she can uh, regain cooldown reduction more often and because on scoring a crit uh, there is another source of cooldown reduction. So it's not only her shots, both of them have independent uh, chances to reduce cooldowns, but it's also uh, the uh, Sage card, which allows her to further reduce cooldowns. That makes her an absolute monster, all of the things combined. So let's see how she plays. All right, let's take a look at some of Anna Sophie's gameplay. It is difficult to just uh, teach someone how important or how good a support is without uh, showing multiple rounds of what they are doing. Anna Sophie's job mainly is to support the rest of the team. So let's pay close attention. We got ourselves in quite a pickle with 15 enemies, including Wolfgang Strum himself. So we're uh, at the brink of being overrun. What we're going to do is we're starting to buff ourselves and you can see that the conjunction uh, uh, gave us more AP back than we ever had. Plus the Herald itself uh, gave us an AP back as well. So the uh, sheer, uh, sheer effect of just buffing ourselves already doubled the AP that we do have available. We're spending uh, one AP to create two further AP uh, for our uh, comrades uh, that are now, as you can see, at three AP. You can even do that pre-buffing in order to uh, 
in order to kind of anticipate the fight. Now we're uh, faced with a difficult situation because all of a sudden we find ourselves uh, pretty much out of cooldowns. But that is not a problem uh, since we now do have the option to hit either of these targets. We're uh, taking the one with the highest crit chance so that the crits will reduce our cooldowns. And you can see triple reduction which goes right back into the herald uh, giving us another ap and giving our team yet another ap so we're back to uh, the situation where we need to uh, crit in order to get more cooldown reduction two nice crits later and we're down with our cooldown reduction so you guessed it yet another herald cleanse uh, we're getting some more AP onto our friends. We're then following up with uh, more AP via Motivate. So two full rounds of um, getting them up. And I could now continue that. Theoretically, I could drop a healing uh, with all three of us, gain three AP with that, and then be back at four AP. But let's just see without any spending of uh, resources we have just upgraded the ap of the others uh, by um, four so out of a normal set of ap's that you would have in a combat uh, where uh, three agents have basically six ap we have not only uh, um, upgraded our own ap but we essentially put six ap on uh, each of the agents so plus four ap which means we have uh, um, tripled the overall amount of ap because uh, we ourselves have also spent a little bit and with one consumable we could like really triple it because we would be almost up at six ap as well and all we need to do is continue to reduce our cooldowns in order to um, continue that game on top of that we have buffed both of uh, them with a nice little uh, um, inspiration so that's plus 15 hit chance plus 15 crit chance what we're going to do is we are going to go into a defensive position um, because we want to be able to, to deal with uh, potential healing so we're ending our turn here and we're going to see uh, just how good we can be in the next turn when things are getting a little bit more heated. All right, the combat that I promised was not much of a combat. We killed all of the 15 in less than one round. Unfortunately, uh, the party is just too strong, which is why I wanted to end the video um, or the guide with just showcasing a couple of things that you could do. Um, if you upgrade the Herald, one of the things that I wanted to show but didn't have the opportunity from level 3 onwards, it does have uh, the special effect to not only grant inspired but also remove debuffs. So say if any of our characters would have been knocked down, that could be cleansed. And keep in mind since the Herald comes up so frequently, it's only having a 3 rounds cooldown, that is almost nothing. So every single round she can cleanse every status effect from all of them and on top of that uh, grant additional AP. Furthermore, as you can see in one of my other guide uh, videos for emotional damage or in the Celestine uh, guide video, the um, ability with Bless uh, to reset uh, cooldowns of others can be ultra, ultra valuable. So that's just another kind of hidden gem um, in her in her kit. She can uh, reset cooldowns and with her own cool so uh, cooldown uh, reduction, the blast can happen every single round. So uh, Anna Sophia is definitely a force to be reckoned with. In my opinion, one of the single strongest characters in the entire game. The action economy manipulation and support for others is second to none in the game. And whether or not you like it and whether or not you are the type of player that enjoys playing with support characters, you gotta admit that she is plenty strong and lets others shine even brighter if you have her in your team. And with that, I will leave you up um, to your own thoughts about her. Let me know if you like the build. Uh, what do you think about Anna Sophia? Am I ri right or wrong in uh, liking support characters? If that's the case, leave a comment down below and see you in one of the other guides. Take care and bye-bye.